Could this story get any weirder? Was Alameda Research and FTX all run by a bunch of kids in the Bahamas? The now struggling crypto exchange FTX and the once former trading giant Alameda Research were all being run out of a luxury penthouse in the Bahamas where 30 year old Sam Bankman Fried is roommates with all the inner circles of those companies. Many of these inner circle members were former co workers of Sam Bankman Fried from his days at quantitative trading firm Jane Street, or he met at MIT where he studied, and all 10 are or used to be paired in romantic relationships with each other. This includes Alameda Research CEO Carolyn Ellison, whose firm played a central role in the collapse of the entire company and FTX, and apparently at times has dated Sam Bankman Fried, according to people who are close to the matter. There's a great article from Coindesk, which I'll link in the description below, in which they spoke to current and former members of FTX and Alameda Research employees who only agreed to talk on the condition of anonymity. And they talked about the complete lack of oversight, the conflict of interest, and the nepotism that was rampant. It's no surprise to find out that many people knew that FTX Exchange were siphoning customer funds into Alameda Research, which is supposed to be an entirely separate company. FTX employees even thought that CZ's tweet saying that Binance was going to buy FTX was fake. And it was only until Sam responded to the tweet confirming it that they realized it was true. So among Sam Bankman Fried's nine housemates are FTX co-founder and chief technology officer, Gary Wang, FTX director of engineering, Nishad Singh, and Caroline Ellison of Alameda Research. No surprise that none of them responded to a request for comment sent from Coindesk. What's also interesting to note was that in the Bahamas, FTX and Alameda Research's offices were closely located and they weren't too far apart from a co-working compound that housed Solana developers and other crypto incubation projects. When news got out that CZ may be potentially budding FTX, Caroline Ellison tweeted, if you're looking to minimize the market impact on your FTT sales, Alameda will happily buy it all from you today at $22. So what else do we know about Caroline Ellison? Well, apparently her and her colleagues were allegedly so high on prescription stimulants that they would drop fruit-based finance metaphors in VC meeting, all while playing League of Legends at the same time. They all lived in the Bahamas, presumably for tax reasons, and all in the same house, presumably for SEX reasons. They also shared a therapist and operated what one member called an imperial Chinese harem According to Gawker, and I'll link the article in the description below, this imperial Chinese harem, wherein everyone had a ranking of their partners, people knew where they fell in the pecking order and conducted vicious power struggles for higher ranks. What we do know about the Harry Potter superfan was that she allegedly knew about her company's secret borrowing. Right now, it's unclear whether she'll face criminal charges. However, it can't hurt the fact that her father, MIT professor Glenn Ellison, used to report directly to the SEC chairman, Gary Gensler. Gawker was also able to dig up two tumblers which likely belonged to her, which gave a little bit more inside information about Caroline. For example, some interesting things that she detailed are her likes in men. That includes controlling most major world governments, low risk aversion, and sufficient strength to physically overpower you. 
Caroline and Ellison graduated from Stanford University with a bachelor's degree in mathematics in 2016. She then spent 19 months as a junior trader on Jane Street straight after graduating and was persuaded to join Alameda Research by Sam Brankman Fried, who previously worked with her at Jane Street. In a now viral podcast, which I'll also link to in the description below, she talked about how she found herself making a bunch of decisions which were really uncertain and it was all terrifying. It's hard to know what's going to happen to Caroline Ellison or what's going to happen to any of the people from FTX or Alameda Research. What's clear is that the more digging that you do, the more things that we're starting to find which just make you feel rather uncomfortable about how the fact that this situation was allowed to continue for as long as it did. What's particularly alarming is that they managed to raise funding from some of the most prominent investors in the world, whether it's Sequoia or SoftBank. It seems as though that all these smart people were convinced that these kids were the right people to put their money with and they were also taken advantage of. It kind of makes you wonder how much due diligence certain investors do because when they see someone with great potential and they think that maybe you have to be somewhat quirky or unusual to accomplish great things. What we do know for certain is that Caroline Ellison does have a lot to answer for. Whether she's gonna have her time in court or in jail remains to be seen. But it is important that people are held accountable for their mistakes, especially when they have done something illegal such as fraud.